<laughs> Don't cry. Everything's going to be all right. No, it's not, Graham. Don't you see, Graham, I'm an outcast? How? These fellas don't want me around anymore. I cramped their style with the broads. Why? That's a stupid question. Because I'm black, that's why. Maybe it's a good thing they don't want you around. I told your mother years and years ago, May, stay out of the South End. There's nothing down there but wops and polos. Oh, cut it out, Graham. Sometimes you're no help at all. I tell you my troubles, and you come telling me how we shouldn't have moved down here in the first place. But we're here, Graham, right here, and I was born here. They're the only friends I've got. Makes me pretty unhappy, too. We'll think of something, Spence. We'll think of something. Come on, you better go upstairs. You look tired. Yes, I am tired. And when I'm tired, I like to look tired. I'm no hypocrite. Besides, you don't want Mom to catch you down here. That's right. Hey, look, Graham, you don't suppose you could lend me five dollars, could you? What on earth you want that much money for? Well, you and I both know, Graham, that in about an hour from now, I'm going to be about the smallest thing crawling on two legs. The old lady sure to let me have it. You mustn't talk about your mother that way. Well, she is. When Pop gets home, he's going to cuss me out and say I'm no son of his, no good. Well, in short, he's going to call me a no good little bastard. For a starter. Well, after old Hasbro gave me the heave hole, Graham, I went by the bank to talk to Pop. I lost my nerve. I don't know, Graham. I just can't seem to get through with Pop. We don't play on the same team or something. He means well, but... He just hasn't got the equipment. Well, you see, Graham, if you'd let me five dollars, I could get Mom some flowers and, well, maybe get Pop a cigar and begin by telling him how sorry I am. It might take the edge off things, Graham. What do you say? Just wait a minute. Is always murder at the bank. Line at my window a block long. Is J.P. Morgan home already? What's new with the boy bank teller? Now, she isn't supposed to be up yet. That means I'm going to be heckled all night and Friday night of all nights after a miserable day at the bank. Well, what's Moby Dick belly aching about now? Mama? Is Spence home yet? Isn't he home yet? Mother, did Spence get home from school? I'm sorry, I can't hear you saying. I hope he isn't horsing around someplace. He ought to be studying up for those midterms. Now, don't worry about Spence Lem. He'll do as good as anybody else. As good as anybody else is not good enough. 
Colored boy's got to be better than anybody else in order to wind up being as good as anybody else, if you get what I mean. Well, it's in English. That's all I can say for it. Mama, I thought you couldn't hear a thing. You take me down to the bank, I got to be twice as good as the guy at the next window, just in order to hold my job. If I hear another word about that ratty bank, I'll blow it out. If she doesn't stop heck... Hello? Uh, this is Mr. Scott speaking. Oh, uh, hello, Mr. Hasbrook. How are you? How's everything down at South End High? Y oh. You want to talk to me about who? About Spence? Yes. Oh, hi, Alan. I was on my way over to your house. I finished my homework early, and well, so I thought Well, that's disgusting, I... man. You've got a whole weekend ahead of you. Why'd you have to finish your homework so soon? Now, look, if I want to get my homework done, that's my business. I don't tell you it's disgusting when you don't get yours done at all, I'm do I? sorry, Alan. You were on your way over to my house. For what? I just wanted to tell you that when you lit into that witch in history class, I felt like applauding. Gee, if I got kicked out of school, I guess I'd just as soon drop dead right there on the floor in the principal's office. Look, Alan, you don't have to rub it in. I get the message, all right? I'm sorry, Spence. Look, is there anything I can do? The what in the name of Ulysses S. Grant could you do about it? So let's forget it. Look, I didn't mean that business about dropping dead. I probably wouldn't drop dead anyway. There's nothing wrong with my heart. Will you please cut it out, Alan? Talk too much. I've gone and hurt your feelings, haven't I? I'm sorry, Alan. I've always liked you, Alan. Even if nobody else... I mean... Well, you're a real good Joe, Alan, and I'm apologizing. It's okay, Spence. I know you're upset. What are you going to do about Miss Bailey? Apologize? Now, listen, I just finished apologizing to you, and that's enough apologizing for one day. Besides, what do I care if I go back to school or not, anyway? I'm on my way to meet my girlfriend. Girlfriend? Who's the girl, Spence? Well, just a girl, that's all. Well, here comes my bus, Alan. him how old he was? No, I didn't. Then why are you asking me? Well, I happen to be 21. When's your birthday? <laughs> Hurry up, spit it out. Come on, kid, get out. Out!
ginger ale. Well, you want in it. We have our own whiskey, thank you. Then it'll cost you 15 cents a bottle. And don't be coming in here with food. This ain't no lousy picnic ground. Well, it's lousy. And ice will cost you a dime. Well, bring it on over, you chinchy skunk. Calling me names like that? You come right over here and get it for yourself. Help you, pal? Oh, yeah. I want a glass of beer, please. <laughs> well, what's so funny? I asked you for a glass of beer. Quick, when were you born? January 20th, 1938. January 20th, 1938. Yeah, okay. That makes you 21. Hey, we got a special on whiskey today. You know, Hotshot, you got remarkable powers of persuasion. But I ask you for a glass of beer, if you don't mind. That's right, sugar. Don't you drink none of that man's whiskey. He ferments it himself. You sure are right, Frank. That whiskey is special. Specially awful. <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> hey, sugar, why don't you come over here and sit with us? Sure. Yeah, baby. Welcome to our home, away from home. Interpretations of dreams by Sigmund Fru. You believe in this stuff? Fraud. I don't know. It's just required reading in our psychology class. Does it say anything in this book about umbrellas? I keep having the lousiest dreams with umbrellas in them. I don't know. I just skimmed through it. You mind if I take a look? No, go ahead. Say, do any of you girls know the young lady sitting over there? No, we don't know her at all. She's a mousy little thing, ain't she? No, I don't think she's mousy at all. I can't find a thing in this book about umbrellas. This is the lousiest dream book I ever saw. Well, let me find it. Say, let's get to work, or we'll never raise the rent money. Say, Rose, you call Homer. His number's Main 28927. And here's the 